Just dip it. Let it soak up all that peanut right there. It's so good. So, so good. In Miami, I grew up with this stuff. You got frita all day. It's just way better than french fries. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Palomao, Suriname, South America. Super interior of the country, the very end, in the jungle. We just flew here with gum air. This is my guide, Julius, and this is my other guide. Ose. Ose, Ose, local, local guide. And yeah, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go see our room, the bungalow. Then after that we're gonna go have lunch in the jungle, like on a rock you said. <laughs> on an island, on an I guess. Island, yes, on an island. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, we're gonna go for a jungle trek and experience what the jungle is all about. You guys ready? You good, my man? Yeah. You ready to go? Yes. <laughs> so you're with me too for the next day? Yeah. Awesome. On tomorrow. After. Perfect, perfect. Taponahoni River. Yes. And I'm in number one? Yes. So this will be your, um, yeah, your room. And here we go. My bungalow for the night. 1A. Beautiful. Love it. Little wood cabin, as you can see, two beds, two twin beds. Here we have a little desk, very nice. Over here we have the bathroom. Bathroom, very nice, clean, I like it. And we have the mosquito nets. Obviously what happens here is that every single night around 6 p.m., they put the mosquito nets down, wrap it completely under the bed. You leave it a little bit open so you can get in, and you just jump in when you're ready and you sleep and you sleep so well with this because it really protects the mosquitoes from coming in you get, really gotta check those sometimes there's a little hole and they'll sneak in but if not you're good and right when you walk outside the door you have the beautiful river right there wow this is real paradise i mean people love beaches like paradise for me this is paradise the wilderness the animals you hear nothing amazing okay guys i'm really hungry let's go to the jungle and eat some lunch sick okay. So we're walking over here to the river. Give me. And there's the bungalows. Beautiful bungalows. So mine is over here, 1A. So there's actually two in there. So it's 1A and 1B. Then you have 2A, 2B, 3A, 3C. Like plane. that. Oh, oh, the plane. And again, the only way to get here is by flying with a charter on gum air. It's the only way to get here. You can't drive here. You can take a boat, but it might take a few days. <laughs> Okay, so I have to go around to get on the boat. Get through here. Okay, nice. I love it. Woo! Yeah. I was just here yesterday. Well, not here, but in the forest, in the middle of nowhere. Love these huge boats. There's like huge canoes. They convert it into like, you know, 15, 20 percent canoes with the engine. The paddle, man. I'm buying that paddle from you. One, a, a half an hour. Half hour. But uh, in, um, just in a few minutes, we're gonna stop here to have lunch. Okay. Just here. Oh, just here, lunch? Yeah. All right. So we're actually gonna stop right here for lunch, and then after that, about another 20, 30 minutes deeper into the jungle for our trek. Wow. Lots of clouds today, so the sun's coming in and out. So much beautiful bush here. This river is actually way calmer than the Surinamese River. And right here, we have the island where we're having lunch. A lot of rapids around here. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> this is fun. This is really fun. And that's it. We just post up right here. Yes. Wow. That's it. And then we'll have lunch, and then we continue. Perfect. So we're just gonna post up right here. Awesome. What are we having for lunch? Do you have an idea? Just bread? No. I'm joking. I'm joking. This is my type of lunch, man. In the jungle, with no one around. Very peaceful. Wow. This is so serene. Wow, look at this, the jungle right here. So there's like a little campground they have here. So if you want to post up, have some lunch, chill. Suriname, Suriname, add to your bucket list. This place has been changing my life every second along the way. <laughs> yeah, yuca frita. And it is the sweet cassava, manioc. Animada. Mm -hmm. This is the most tasty part this year. Uh, yeah, the peanut. You want the peanut? Yeah. yeah Over the sure. uh, manioc? Yeah, yeah. So basically, this is a coleslaw. Yeah. This is let's say a coleslaw. coleslaw. This is a peanut that brought, what the Indonesians brought this yeah. delicious thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got the amazing fish and we have the yuca frita. I love the yuca frita. Oh. 
All right, and this is lunch. Delicious lunch, look at that. The fish, the yuca frita. Oh, I love the yuca frita. Mmm. The peanut sauce, so delicious. Mmm. When you come to Suriname, you're gonna eat cassava every day. And I highly recommend the, the fried version. The cassava fried or yuca frita is so good. Cassava or yuca is almost like a super dense planting in the middle, extremely dense, outside, fried. Then you got the peanut dressing. And next up we have the fish. I'm gonna be very careful here. I'm gonna nervous with the bones. Mmm. Wow, love this fried fish. Look, open it up. You already see some of the bones, some of the spines right there. This is basically like a rib, right? Looks like they're ribs. So get through this, start pulling out. Very nice. Remind me like a fried snapper. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Bones. All those bones and fish. Be very careful. I don't know why it's like a bee hanging around me. Oh! Bring off. Deep woods. I ran out. I have some regular spray. Not good. This is sort of how it works. You either have lunch in the resort or lunch in the jungle. Oh, I'm just gonna jump in for some more yucca. Oh. Just dip it. Let it soak up all that peanut right there. It's so good. So, so good. In Miami, I grew up with this stuff. You got frita all day. It's just way better than french fries. Way better. Next up, we have the coleslaw. It's actually tomatoes, cabbage, carrots. What else? Maybe some onions. Mm -hmm. What I like the most about this coleslaw is they added corn. Nice corn, because it's a nice little crunch. You can see all the cabbage, tomato, and the carrots. There's actually some cucumber in here as well. And that's our jungle feast. You got the fish from the river, you have the yuca frita, and you have the delicious coleslaw. Mm. These peanut sauces are so freaking sweet. Mm. The bomb.com. But the star of the show today is the yuca frita with the peanut, delicious peanut sauce. It really is incredible. That's what lemonade. It's not lemonade, it's, it's something like, uh, yeah. It was like punch, yeah. like fruit punch. Mm. There's bugs all over me. I'm mm -hmm. done, yes. Mm -hmm. So lunch was incredible. A little crazy with the bee around me, but it was fine. The, the yuca's the best though. The yuca's like out of control. And uh, what an experience out here. I mean, they were like on benches. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that with the camera and the bench. So I posted up on the table and you can see this is what they brought. They brought this, like, this little cooler right here. And that looks like an airplane cooler. It actually says KLM, crazy. And then over here we have just a regular, a regular cooler, right? Getting back on the boat now, we have about a 30 minute boat ride until we get deeper into the jungle to where we're going. And then we're gonna go like on a 90 minute trek up to the top of a, like a little hill. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, this boat's not sturdy. <laughs> oh, feels good though. So we're gonna go for about one hour. Get to the top of the hill, and you have one hour all the way back. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we see some animals. And okay. wow, this is like, yeah. we're in the jungle. A really cool fact that Julius has told me is that 80% of Suriname is untouched virgin jungle. 80%. Okay, okay. All right, we made it. Hear the bird? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at these trees. What we are hearing there is the karakara, the carrying crow, and uh, it's a um, huge bird with white chest and um, all over black, just white chest, red. Um. Yeah, unfortunately we can't see him, he's way too high up. Yes, yes. And this is like, I guess, a little hut that this you guys can rest. Camp. So when you guys come early in the morning, you guys have breakfast, breakfast here camp. and you start your trek. Julius, find me a sloth. One sloth. Find me a sloth. Okay. 
<laughs> I, I, I'm joking, did I? I? I saw one on the street. Oh. One. The one thing I do smell is parrot like poo. Oh, luckily, this this trail is pretty nice. I mean, it's not like a, it's not too steep. No, no, no. Very easy. Very for beginners, you know? Yeah, yeah. If you go to Browns Mountain, that's for, like for super advanced. <laughs> They make um, the roofs and the wall by cutting it. Take off all the pins that is, are on it and then um, like plaiting it. The palm tree that we are seeing here, the Astrocarium palm, they um, are making a um, roof and also wall for the um, houses. And also the young leaf in the middle, you have a young leaf, that's the one here mm -hmm. that you can see. And uh, they make um, fan, mats. Astrocarium, if you didn't know, there's like over a few hundred species of palm tree. There's <laughs> Astrocarium. A very nice thing about this trek is that you're really covered by the bush, so you don't even get any sun. There's a little bit of a breeze. You know, we do have the river right there. We do have the trees, so a lot of air flowing through. And luckily, there's not that many mosquitoes, but I did spray myself like crazy just to prevent any of them from biting me. And look at this, so many logs, so many. This is like, this is the best part about this trek, man. More logs. The trek's amazing, and my favorite part is all the logs you have to jump over. Another one. Small creek, the only way to cross is to go on some of these logs. Super thin logs, okay? Whew. Okay, okay. Doing it with one hand is a little hard. <laughs> all right. Wow. 20 minutes in, I'm feeling the burn. <laughs> These are the um, seeds from this tree, the ingi pipa. And um, normally the seeds are inside here. Okay, and um, when they uh, open, then they fall, and you can um, find just this, like this um, shell. In the past, the Amerindian used to um, use it as a pipe in combination with the um, bamboo and smoke. Okay, but also the bark of this is very thin, like Whistler. And they used to um, like um, rolling um, tobacco. Oh wow. Yeah, and um, smoke. So all the paddles that you find here in Suriname are made from this tree. And what's the name of it? Paddlewood tree. It also works as a telephone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, we, are, we have here um, the Basra locust. Um, this tree is most used for the dugout and it is very very hard so if you look at this size of this tree it can be more than 300 years old because it grows very very slow yeah very very hard so if you cut it and the steel chainsaw you put it on it then you see like fire is coming out <laughs> wow that hard well i mean it's a massive tree how tall is it a few hundred feet huh 45 minutes into our jungle trek and we haven't seen not a single animal. A few birds up in the trees and trees, that's it. So when you go out in the jungle and you're looking for wildlife, it's always hit or miss. Oh my God, I got another log, a little creek here to cross. Whew, I got it, I got it. Hopefully I don't get into the mud. I don't want to step in mud today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so whoa, whoa, this is like real wilderness here. And then, uh, and yeah, so I mean, that's how it is. You might see something, you might see nothing. You might see a handful of things. We're really hoping for an anteater, a sloth, a tortoise, something, but it's not looking good. But you never know. Still got 15 minutes. And then we have a whole hour to go all the way back. So we'll see something for sure. Making it up to the top of the hill. That's it, huh? One hour, and we made it. Whoa. There's a giant rock. Look at this boulder. Huge. It's a steep rock. Very steep. If you're not in good shape, don't come up here. Wow. The jungle. Oh, there's a mountain. Roosevelt Mountain. Cool. We made it. Yeah. This is the summit? Mm. Wow. Woo! Oh my god, you can still hear it. <laughs> we made it. We spent 30 amazing minutes up here admiring the view. I sent the drone up, got incredible aerials. And that's it. We're headed back down. We have another one hour 
get to the very bottom. Hopefully we see an animal. What do you think, Julius? You think we'll see something? I hope it. You hope it? Yeah. Give, give me an anteater, man. <laughs> make the noise, make the noise. One thing I want to mention is that this rock, all the plants up here are like spiny plants. It's almost like pinchy, very cacti looking, right? Bromelia. What are they? Bromelia. Bromelia. Yeah, I mean, it's just like pinchy. You gotta definitely wear long pants if not, you're gonna get cut up. As we make our way down this rock, you can see it's very, very steep. You gotta sort of like lean back, you know? It's the only way to like balance yourself correctly so you don't just fly down the mountain. And yeah, it's the wilderness, look at that. Jungle, jungle, oh my God, this is the pinchy one. For me, that completely reminds me of my time in Malawi, walking through bush out there. Spent like 22 days in Malawi, lots of national parks, and it really felt like this, especially going up this rock. Oh, there's some animals in here making noise. And, uh, but yeah, this is not Africa, this is South America. This is basically part of the Amazon rainforest. I think I said this before, but the reason it's not called the Amazon rainforest is because the Amazon river doesn't flow through it but it basically is the northern part of the Amazon rainforest. We're making our way back and we're hearing the screaming police, is that what you said? Screaming piha. Screaming piha, but you said the Suriname police? The bush police. The bush police? Uh -huh. It's well right known. up here? <laughs> so when you hear that noise, that is the Suriname police coming after you. No, just kidding, it's a bird. You were in the river? Yeah, they were feeding. You were in the river? Yes, they were um, swimming. Fishing. So while we were on our hike, the captain and his friend went fishing and they caught some piranha. And if you guys didn't know, there's piranha throughout all these rivers. They're not dangerous, but if you have a cut, do not go in the water. Yeah, we are um, in the Tapanahoni River. And it is one of the um, longest river. It is a branch of the Maroni River that um, is by the border with uh, French Guiana. So we are not that far from French Guiana. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so. And in, the, in the Tapanahoni River, we have the Maroon living downstream, and in the upper stream, we have the Amerindians uh, living, the, the Wayana and the Trios. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we just got back to our resort. It was a quick 30 minute boat ride. And what we're gonna do now is basically relax for two hours, and then we have dinner at 7.30. That's sort of the routine here. You know, you have an activity, then you have some time to chill, relax in the hammock, you know, take a shower, just chill out, and then you have dinner, or lunch, or breakfast, whatever you want. <laughs> so I slept like an hour, took a little break. I was really, really tired. I've had already, a, you know, eight day trip. It's been really intense flying around, you know, boat, car, flight, boat, car, crazy. But um, yeah, this is uh, what this place looks like at night, as you can see. So I think I'm gonna skip out on filming dinner tonight. I think I'm just gonna take it really easy, put my camera away, relax. But I hope you love this video. Today was epic. We went through the jungle. We had a jungle food out there. Super delicious yuca. The yuca was the best thing. The fish was good, coleslaw was okay, but the yuca with the peanut dressing. The peanut dressing is making the food here in Suriname like unbelievable. I love that influence from Indonesia. It's just so, so good, it's so sweet. I mean, everything has that extra sweet to it. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Suriname. See you tomorrow morning.